All right, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be going over the top six pieces of home gym equipment and the type of workout that you can do with each. Number one for me is gonna be power blocks or a set of dumbbells. You can do a lot with just a set of dumbbells. You can do isolation movements. You can get that good uh, mind-muscle connection. You can do alternating. You can do a lot of bodybuilding style workouts. So I would put dumbbells in the bodybuilding style workout category. Great for a home gym, take up a small space, especially these power blocks. You can do a lot of different exercises, flies, chest presses, rows, leg workouts, whatever you can think of, you can get done with a dumbbell or a set of dumbbells. So something to consider if you're into bodybuilding style workouts. So squat stand or power rack, this is gonna be a great piece of equipment if power lifting is your thing. Obviously, it keeps you safe. You have um, these J cups to, to load up the bar. That way you can get under it, progressively overload, uh, safely squat and bench with it. Um, they do have safety spotter arms that you can get and a multitude of attachments. You can get landmine attachments. You can a dip station. This is like, a good thing that you can just continuously add on to. You can add cables to it. Not this one specifically, because this is just a squat stand, but more of like a power rack. Um, but all I needed really was a squat stand. Another benefit would be the fact that you can do pull-ups. A lot of power racks, they come with a pull-up bar. This one is just a squat stand, like I just said, but I can also do pull-ups on here. I just add the J cups to the top, and I put my bar across here, and I can, get some pull-ups done. So a highly effective starting point and piece of equipment if powerlifting is your thing. All right, number three is gonna be kettlebell. If functional fitness is your thing, this is the piece of equipment for you and your home gym. Uh, I would say relatively inexpensive, but if you know about kettlebells, you know there's a lot of great kind of unconventional exercises that you can do with them that translate well to real world strength. You can do swings, you can do a multitude of things, clean and press. It's great for your hand strength, for your coordination and balance. Uh, very difficult to do, but a very effective and good pieces of equipment that you should add to your home gym. Another great piece of equipment, if hit style is your style of working out, Incorporate a slam ball into your workout routine. Uh, slam balls are great, very humbling, uh, relatively inexpensive, but the fun is in the name. You slam it on the ground, you bend down, you pick it up, you slam it on the ground, you toss it over your shoulder, you throw it, you step up with it, you squat with it, you hold it, you walk with it. You can do so much with a slam ball. So if hits hits your thing, then get one of these. 10, 10 reps of this, high intensity. It's one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I have in the garage gym. All right, hidden in this corner is gonna be my barbell. Obviously, if power lifting is your thing and you have a squat rack, you're gonna need a barbell to go with it. So, uh, or Olympic lifts, uh, whether that be um, clean and presses or anything like that you're gonna need one of these deadlifts. There's so many um, good, effective workouts to be done with a barbell. Some would argue that barbell is the first piece of equipment that you should get. But yeah, benefit of this is gonna be that progressive overload. You can also use this. I stick it in the corner sometimes and use it for landmines. So there's different things that you can do with a, um, a barbell. Uh, this is a high quality one. I would recommend you get a high quality one as well. It, that way you don't need to go out and buy another one. This is the last one I'll ever need. It can definitely take any beating I'm gonna throw at it, so barbell. Just another quick note, I also have a axle bar, and this is one of my favorite pieces of equipment, but I knew I wanted a barbell. Um, I just wanted something cheaper, something short, and this axle bar is um, a great alternative to a traditional barbell. It obviously works on your grip strength. It's a larger diameter, but it's a lot cheaper than a barbell. It's just a pipe, basically. Um, get one of these, 
included into your routine it's it's nice for a small space so um, this is probably high re highly underrated all right last but not least is going to be this punching bag you see behind me having a punching bag is a nice change of pace it's a fun way to work out you throw punches on a heavy bag you learn how to throw a good punch string together combinations you get a good sweat going you work on your hand and your wrist strength and build up that confidence. It's a good way to get some extra conditioning in. There's a reason why boxers and MMA fighters are all toned up is because they train intense and they also get good workouts on the heavy bag. So if this is something you're interested in, I would say it's relatively cheap and it's a fun way to exercise. So look into uh, getting a heavy bag. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this one on the top six pieces of home gym equipment and the workout style for each. Uh, there's obviously a lot of different pieces of home gym equipment out there, not just these ones. So make sure you do your research. If you got any value out of this at all, please hit that like button, drop a comment, and uh, subscribe. Until next time, keep working hard.